Hey, I'm Maggie K. So, welcome to Japanese wine country. <laughs> so, I have been exploring Yamanashi Prefecture and I am going to continue here. So, Yamanashi is known for wine and I love wine. So, I decided I would come out here for the day and do a little bit of tasting, see what it's like. So the most popular way to get around to the different vineyards and whatnot is by taxi or I don't know if there's like a bus, like a sightseeing, wine tasting bus or something. Um, I couldn't actually figure it out. There wasn't a lot of information. So yeah, I'm just gonna walk. According to Google Maps, the furthest place from the train station that I wanna go to it's only about a 40 minute walk. So I figured I'll just walk it. It's a beautiful day. I can enjoy being around the vineyards. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing instead. If I get like particularly tired after going to multiple vineyards or whatever, maybe I'll ask them to call me a taxi to get back to the train station. But for right now, I can enjoy being outside. I should start my wine journey at the same place Grape started, Daizenji, nicknamed Budoji or Grape Temple. This is actually where grapes in the region originated from. There was no photo signs around, so I don't have a lot of footage, but it was a nice temple and they still grow grapes on site, though apparently I came post-harvest. Alright, so now that I have paid my respects to the grape temple. Um, now I think it's time I get into a little bit more of the actual wine in the region. So I got a little lost, but I think I found one of the wineries that I wanted to find. So let's go check out something. Chateau Marcien was set up like a cafe. You line up and order which wine or food you want and find your own seat. I went for some local white wine sampling and one thing to kind of be warned about is that the cafe food will sell out. So I ended up settling for bread, but the wine was actually really good. So that winery was really nice. I didn't film anything inside because I felt a little weird to do that. Um, it was basically just tasting at the counter. And the owner there was very, very nice, spoke English, and I tasted a bunch of wine. I was there for maybe like just tasting for I think 30 minutes or so. He was explaining about the grapes and the specialty of the koshu grape and he actually gave me some free grapes <laughs> uh, the muscat grapes because I was like there for a while and I spent a lot of money <laughs> so now I'm going to see if I can head up to uh, Budo no Oka which is like 
this whole wine complex thing and apparently it's like a hotel and there's like an onsen and stuff like that. Um, I'll see if I can do some tasting there. But I also don't know if I'll make it in time for tasting because it's like a 30 minute walk and it's already well after three, I forget. Maybe like 3.30. So we'll see if I can make it and judging, woo, there was a step there. <laughs> judging on how things have gone today, I've been getting lost quite a bit. So who knows if I'll actually make it there in time for tasting or whatnot. But I got lots of time before I need to go to the hotel tonight, so I might as well try. Budorooka has all kinds of wines from different makers around the region. It's kind of like the one-stop shop. I actually re-tasted wines that I had already tried at the actual vineyards. It's 1,100 yen to go into the cellar, but there's no time limit or course or anyone guiding you around. Basically, the wine bottles on the barrels in the middle are for tasting, you pour your own, and if you like the wine you taste, you can purchase the bottles from the side. Find the one you're looking for, put it in your basket, and you can pay up at the top. So, future Meg here. While editing this video, I realized I didn't film an outro at all. That just slipped my mind the day of the wine tasting, somehow. Um, but yeah, basically after Budo no Oka, I hopped on a train and took it to Kofu City, which is only about 30 minutes away, and I stayed there for the night. And that that's that's the end of my wine tasting in Yamanashi. I really, really enjoyed it. I enjoyed learning about like the Koshu grape and wa just walking around. It was a beautiful day. I ended up getting a little like too much sun on like my shoulders and chest, but it was really nice. And I liked going, I mean, personally, I like wine, so learning about wine in Japan is obviously something I'd be interested in, but I don't think a lot of people consider wine tasting in Japan. Japan isn't exactly known as, like, the world leader of wine. Like, you come to Japan and you expect sake. Like, you would do that, but I really enjoyed learning about the wine in Japan. But yeah, that's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I'll be back with another one soon. Bye!